what is going on YouTube this is Arctic Fox welcome back to the channel I did a live covering the identification of the boy in the suitcase out of the uh, out of Indiana earlier uh, but I wanted to come back on here because there's been more information come to light around the details of how they identified the boy and everything and I wanted to come on and bring that information to you so the Indiana State Police have identified the boy who was found dead months ago in a suitcase and named his mother as a suspected killer. For those of you that missed the live earlier, the body of Cairo Jordan of Atlanta was found in Washington in the Washington County woods on April the 16th by a resident. He had never been reported missing, and police say his mother, D. Juwan Anderson, 37 years old, is charged with his murder and is currently on the run. She's also charged with neglect of a dependent resulting in death and also of obstruction of justice. Anderson was last seen in the Echo Park area of California, according to Sergeant Kerry Hubbs with the Indiana State Police. Another woman also is facing charges but is already in custody. Her name is Dawn Coleman, who is 40 years old, out of Shreveport, Louisiana. She is facing the same charges as Anderson, minus the murder charge. She was arrested Tuesday night in San Francisco. Police said the two suspects are not physically related to each other. According to the autopsy, Cairo died of an electrolyte imbalance caused by a severe stomach bug. His body was found in the suitcase, so he basically died of diarrhea and dehydration, guys. A probable cause affidavit said that both women were identified by fingerprints on trash bags that were inside the suitcase. Police said that they saw photos of that same suitcase on Coleman's Facebook page. The affidavit also provided some disturbing details of conversations that had that took place about the child before and after the discovery of his body. Apparently, Anderson had spoken about exorcisms, spells, and living with a demonic child. On April the 12th, days before Cairo was found, she posted to social media that she had survived the death attacks from her five-year-old throughout the five years that he had been alive, and that she had been able to weaken his powers through our blood. She also said, I have his real name, and he is 100 years old, need assistance. Anderson had also been in other legal troubles in the month prior, According to a citation, Anderson was arrested in Louisville on a robbery charge in March, just weeks before Cairo was found dead. She got out on bail but never returned to court for her preliminary hearing. Days before that arrest, she had been taken into custody in South Carolina after leading police on a chase reaching speeds of 92 miles per hour in a 60 mile per hour zone. The day that Cairo was found, Anderson's vehicle was caught on a Riverlink camera driving from Jeffersonville to Louisville. Police said Cairo would have turned six this week, and that is that is sad. His father was actually made aware of this identification on Cairo's sixth birthday, and it is devastating, guys. Uh, I, I did read the statement that his dad had put out on social media earlier when I did my live stream, and it's truly devastating. It brought tears to me trying to, to read it, and if you missed the live earlier, I do suggest that you go and watch that as well. Uh, anyone with information regarding the case, especially anyone on this piece of shit's whereabouts, needs to contact 911 or the nationwide toll-free tip line at 888-437-6432. Anderson is described as 5 foot 5 inches tall and 135 pounds. While she was last seen in L.A., the Indiana State Police said that she is known to travel and has recently been to San Francisco, San Diego, Las Vegas, and Houston, Texas. So no matter where you are in this country, they could certainly use your help in trying to locate this piece of shit mother. Um, 
And we, we need to do this. We need to do it for Cairo. Police said that obviously Cairo's father was contacted, and we know that. Uh, again, I read his statement earlier. I am going to go ahead and uh, bring his statement back up so I can read that to you guys because it is very devastating. And th this father, I can't even begin to imagine what he's going through. He had actually been following the case of the boy in the suitcase on social media and on CNN. And so, I, gosh, for him to find out on his child's sixth birthday that that this is that his child was the child in the suitcase on the story that he had been following all this time, I can't even begin to put myself in his shoes and, and feel the heartache that he is feeling right now. This is his statement. He said, and I'm going to just go ahead and bring it up on your screen. Just bear with me here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's devastating, guys. It is completely heartbreaking, this statement that the dad put out. Let's see here. Uh, I guess I'm not going to put it up on your screen, but I'll read it to you. Um, just bear with me for one second here. So the the statement from the father is today my heart was broken into a million pieces. I got a call from an officer telling me that my five year old son, Cairo Jordan, who ironically turned six today, was murdered by his mother, Dijuan Anderson, in Indiana on April the fourteenth, twenty twenty two. It's October the twenty fifth and his birthday, and they are just now notifying me about his death. Me and my family have spent the past three years looking for Dijuan and Cairo. She took him away at the beginning of our custody battle in 2017. She threatened to call the police on me for coming to pick him up on an agreed weekend. She never showed up in court, and it's killing me because that weekend is the last time I've seen my baby boy. I swear y'all don't know the pain. As a father, I feel defeated. This was the only thing I feared on this earth. This sick bitch smothered my son and put his body in a suitcase and threw him on the side of the road like fucking trash outside of Salem, Indiana. The unidentified little boy who was found in a suitcase is my son, Cairo Jordan. His story has been on CNN and other news platforms for the past six months, and the whole time, it's my child. Oh, my fucking God, wait when I tell you I'm sick to my stomach. Everyone knows how I am about my kids, and I never thought I would have got that call today. This is a parent's worst nightmare. Your worst, your, choose your mates wisely. It's all deeper than just baby mama, baby daddy drama. Rest in heaven, Cairo. I love you, son. So guys, do me a favor, make sure you share this video out on social media. We need to bring this bitch to justice. Uh, give the video a like, it does help more people to see the video. Also, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. But most importantly, share this to your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram. We need to bring this woman to justice, and we need to bring justice for Cairo. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there, and I'll see you soon in the next one.